Good morning, Weavers. I'm Daniel. This is Corliss, and today I want to talk to you guys about Kemi Clean. We had a problem with one of our frag tanks, and actually one of them, I should say, uh, a few of them, with the red cyano bacteria. And you wouldn't believe how incredibly red the sand got and how annoying it was to see it all over the place. So I'm not sure if any of you guys who are watching this video have ever tried Kemi Clean to get rid of it, but it actually works pretty, pretty well. You just have to follow the instructions. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to use that product and how it worked for us. So what we had to do right away, you guys can see the air stone and in salt water, I don't normally recommend air stones because they make a mess. You precipitate a lot of the minerals in the water as the water evaporates, you see salts and stuff. So I don't recommend aerating salt water normally like this, but we did it because this works a lot more effectively if you oxygenate the water, if you heavily oxygenate the water. So we do have the skimmer underneath and that thing's bubbling away, helping aerate the water down there. Um, we have the pump turning through the sump and all that stuff, filter pads and socks, and then we have this. But just to show you guys um, what it looked like before we did this, and I'm embarrassed to show you this, but it happens to the best of us, but look at this. Um, we rushed a lot of stuff we put in here. We didn't really let the tank cycle and we have that Sino all over the sand and it's pretty ugly So we're not even gonna look at it But what I am going to show you is the Kemi clean and how to use it and what we're gonna do and see how it works on that big tank So we got rid of it on this tank and it worked within 24 hours Which I'm pretty impressed what we're gonna do now is after that do a 20% water change you know after the treatment but before the treatment you're gonna want to start off take some of your tanks water you're gonna take one of these little scoops and for every 10 gallons you're gonna do one of these scoops so if you have a 60 gallon frag tank you're gonna use six of those scoops and it is this powder so you're gonna to want to be careful and use level scoops and measure correctly and then mix it with your water and then pour that into your tank so you don't want to just directly add this. You want to stir it up first and mix it in and then add it. So we did that. We added the air stone and that's not your everyday average air stone. That's a big one. And we have this beast of a pump over here. This thing is ridiculous. Just to give you guys an idea, look at this thing. It's massive. It's freaking crazy. So yeah, I don't know if the aeration is what did it, what cleared it up so fast. I'm really, really impressed, but I'm going to take this thing out now. I'm going to put it over in that tank. I want to see what happens, and I'll let you guys know. Does it work? Is it as effective in that display tank? That's 170 gallons versus the 60 gallons here. So we'll see. I mean, everybody wants that bright white sand. You want your tank to look gorgeous. You don't want anything growing on your sand because it just makes it ugly. But there you guys go. Just wanted to do a quick little chat about it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do it now and share this video with a friend. We will be doing more like this and we always try to keep it interesting for you. So today, like I said, we're talking about cyanobacteria and those of you who had this problem, share this video with a friend and feel free to comment if you've used another product and how did it work for you? So this is just one of the products out there. There are others. So if you use something else, don't be mad at me, but let us know, all right? So Kemi Clean, there you go. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys. Um, so I didn't do a walkthrough. Those of you who watch this channel, um, for more, you know, your regular subscriber, Coralus, and not just, um, watching on Sino, you're trying to get rid of that in your tank. Let me show you some cool things we got. <laughs> um, I, I'm into like the steampunk stuff, so it's very cool. And we got this crazy little diver. And if you get close enough, you can see it face in there. And it's pretty creepy. So I love it. So then we got the giant head over here. This thing is absolutely cool. Perfect nightlight for anyone's bedroom. That thing is super, super cool. So I'm gonna go around back and actually show you guys something else. Um, check this out. 
This thing is incredible. It's an octopus. And it just looks awesome. Look at the eye on that thing. He's looking at you. But, but yeah, so that's that. My desk is a mess. Excuse it. So here's some towel holders. These are really, really cool towel holders. And yeah, a little steampunk. Um, come on, buddy. I'm trying to get them in focus for you guys. Those are seahorses. Real cool. This is a wine holder. Absolutely cool fishy wine holder. And it's actually facing the other way, but really cool. And anyone who's seen the outside of our door, this is on there. That's from the 2,000 leagues under the sea, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Um, yeah, so that is that. And I got some other cool, cool stuff, but I don't know where I hit it. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? There's an octopus sitting on his head. But, yep. So, more things I'm always adding to the place. Oh, he did, did, did one more thing. Christian was here alone the other day, and he just put some stickers on for us. And would you check this out? Fishies! So he put more fish on there, and there's some more fish down the wall. So, my goal is to eventually have this whole entire place covered from top to bottom and just make it very, very cool for everyone to come in and visit and see around and, you know, always something interesting at every turn in the store. So, we'll see how my buddy's doing today.